Hello everyone, this is Father the Everchosen, back in Total War Warhammer 2, bringing you yet another quick battle, this time pitting my Vampire Coast versus my opponent's Dark Elves. Going through the Dark Elf army real quick, he has two units of, uh, no, three units of Dark Riders, a Cold One Knight, three Reaper Bolt Throwers, two, no, three, Dread Spears, two Bleak Swords, and four Dark Shards with Shields, led by Malekith up here on Seraphon, bringing, obviously, Seraphon's Noxious Breath, Bladewind, Soul Stealer, and the Gaze of Malice. My army will look quite familiar to you if you caught my first Vampire Coast uh, video, in that it is the exact same. But, for any new people, I will be going through it. I bring two Rotting Prometheans, two Sirens, two Handgun uh, variants, variants of the uh, Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mob, two regular Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mobs, two Bombers, a Vampire Fleet Admiral with a pistol, Lore of Deep on top of the Promethean, bringing... Tide Call, Denizens of the Deep, Van Geist's Revenge, All Hands Hoy, and Black Parapet. The Black Spot, ROR, uh, Handguns. The Vampire Fleet Captain, with Invocation of the Heck. Taunt, and a uh, Power Stone, a Carronade, and a Gunnery White, who is here, bringing his full loadout. So starting off right away, I see that my opponent has these three Reaper Bolt Throwers. I try to get my lines into uh, how I want them. I have the Carronade start shooting, and I uh, <laughs> instantly, not well, not as quick as maybe I should have, uh, my Carronade ends up getting off almost two shots before I start moving. But as soon as I uh, see, I start moving. My opponent, I feel kind of wasting their shots, only shooting at this uh, gunnery mob bombers. They should be targeting the black spots. Uh, but I do not want to lose my bombers, so in but a moment, I do drop a uh, indication and a heck on them. But trying to keep this uh, pretty tight formation, approaching their uh, battle lines, keeping this running Promethean off to the side to protect my carronade so that it can stay active as long as I need it to. And uh, I slowly bring my rotting Prometheans over here to engage this big chunk of infantry. This rotting Promethean is going to engage in the cult with the Cold One Knights. And then the rest of my army is just going to start firing uh, their ammunition across my opponent's ranks, especially at Malekith. I do see that these Dark Riders are going to slip by and there's no way I can catch them. The Carronade is pretty much lost to me at this point, but I say not without a fight. So I uh, target the Dark Riders and actually I take control. And you can tell that I'm taking control because this Carronade is turning much faster. And I end up getting off, I think, two shots before they finally get hold of me. Obviously right now walking with uh, all 45 bottles. Malik is slowly getting peppered. I got my sirens engaged here. My vampire fleet admiral. Everything's kind of advancing but it needs to advance a little farther and a little faster. Popping back over here. They just crest this hill and you see this shot is mine. Taking out three riders and then finally cresting the hill yet again. Me, the entire time saying reload, 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 reload. And eventually getting that reload. And right now sitting with 41 unit models. And just before they hit my lines, another devastating shot goes off, killing four more horses, uh, ripping them apart. But the Carronade is lost at this point. So it is forgot. In, uh, in favor of the uh, more important engagements up here. 
the Prometheans are engaged with the Cold Ones, my other Prometheans are engaged with Dread Spears and uh, Bleak Swords, Sirens taking on this front line, my Bombers uh, taking out Bleak Swords, the Bombers trying to stay in front so that my uh, more valuable, uh, longer ranged units stay safe. I try to keep these Prometheans alive, but it will to be will be to no avail. They do crumble away. I do get a uh, summon off here, trying to trap these dark riders here. Um, the denizens of the deep spell is quite useful. Soul Stealers going down over here uh, against my bombers from Malekith, trying to keep himself alive. Uh, but right now he is in kind of a kill zone. My uh, Vampire Fleet Captain gets out of position here, but eventually will get dragged back. My Lord in here, uh, fighting. This blade wind going down against my Sirens, which, not a bad call, but it does more damage to his Dread Spears and Bleak Swords than uh, I think he <laughs> intended. At this point, the Reaper Bolt Throwers that are still online are unfortunately firing their multi-shot, and they're firing it at the Gunnery White, which, not that it won't do a little bit of damage, but the single shot would be much better, or better yet, target these uh, handguns, or the black spots, or anything else with the multi-shot. Um, you know, that shot right there, what, did a handful of damage? As well as, I'm dropping heals down. Malekith, now that he has no support around him and he's on the ground, Kind of in uh, kind of in a shooting gallery right now, and his hit points just melt away. I do end up dropping uh, a little more healing here on the uh, Vampire Fleet Admiral. Not that she was getting too low, but just to keep her in the fight uh, for sure. Malekith walking around with 300, 200, and you'd think he'd die, but no. At 140 hit points, I. Uh, start targeting other things, but I do move the black spot uh, and try to get them to fire at him. They just, unfortunately, um, and uh, another channel, another YouTuber that I watch, um, Arakir Galdurafan, who uh, is the, uh, the, head, um, the head of the uh, modding team that does uh, Divide and Conquer, which is uh, another series that I release as well, um, he, he uh, brought up a good point that archers or any ranged unit in Med 2 don't have to completely reposition the unit to fire. They just, you know, reposition their bodies. The entire unit has to swing around, though, with these black spots. Um, now, I don't know if that would be too overpowered for them to have a 360 uh, firing arc all the time. Maybe, you know, Repositioning should take a little bit of time, but not this slow, you know, they don't have to reform ranks to fire at him. You know, just point your gun at the giant black dragon that's right there that's almost dead, please. But, that gripe aside, Sirens and running Prometheans over here engaged with infantry, Reaper Bolt Throwers, um, you know, just kind of right now, uh, slowly firing at the right targets. The rest of my lines firing throughout. Uh, but my heroes, all three of them, still quite healthy. This uh, Vampire Fleet Captain, about half health, but the hunger is uh, healing her slowly. And I still could... Um, one sec, let me take just a peek here. I still have enough to uh, heal and then some. So, I'm good. I've got plenty of magic, actually. Vampire Fleet Admiral walking around with basically full health. Gunnery White walking around with almost full health. And I've got ammunition to spare. So, my opponent slowly starts uh, losing everywhere. Everything starts to route off. And once everything starts to route off, a chain route occurs. And uh, I walk away with another victory. Second victory as the uh, Vampire Coast, and this battle was fought directly after the uh, one against the Vampire Counts. 
Uh, now this battle, I think, I really only lost due to, I don't want to sound mean, but incompetence of targeting with your artillery pieces. If you've watched me for a while, uh, you know that my micro is terrible when it comes to cavalry units. That's why I like to focus on nations that don't have a lot of cavalry. Um, or if they do have cavalry, I choose very little to none of it. You know, the running Prometheans are, I guess, what you would call cavalry, but they're slow, they're big, I can leave them in combat, I can forget about them, and they'll be relatively okay. I'm much more of an artillery and archer focused person. So when I play the, the dwarves or uh, the empire or anybody, I like the artillery pieces. That's what I kind of, um, I don't want to say pride myself on, but I like being good with them. So when I see things like the Reaper bolt throwers firing like four or five, not maybe not four, but three or four volleys of multi-shot at my gunnery white, you know, that's three or four, you know, from three. So that's what, nine to 12 volleys that could have been uh, ripping apart. You know, you can even see, it could have ripped apart this unit, could have ripped apart this unit. Um, or it could have been switched to the single shot and shot at, at my running Protheans or Prometheans. <laughs> rotting Prometheans, not Protheans. Prometheans. Or it could have been shot at my uh, my vampire fleet admiral. But if he would have targeted multiple different units, not all three of them on the bomber, on the approach, and not the gunnery white for, you know, a bunch of volleys, I think I truly would have lost that one. Malekith uh, could have been better utilized, but um, I really think and, and I don't know why he deployed, like, half of his army over here and then not protecting his Reaper Bolt Throwers. You know, if you're going to take artillery pieces, unless you're not afraid to lose them like I lost the Carinade, you, you better b box up around them or you better at least put, you know, a line in front of them or keep somebody over by them to protect them. Uh, not that, you know, I think... All of his Reaper Bolt Throwers might have still been online at the end of the battle. But, um, I don't know. When you set up in that box formation, or when you have a formation, sometimes it's just a little bit easier to, um, you know, send units around, get flanks. Um, you know, reinforce the line where it needs to be. I mean, there's a reason that, you know, military tactics work the way that they did. Though Magic can throw a curveball in that, um, looking at you know, what I brought, you know, besides Van Guy's Revenge and maybe Tight Collar, you know, the thing that you really had to worry about was more me just healing my army. But we'll take a look at the kills here real quick. Carinade walking away still with 19 kills, um, but, you know, for a 700 point uh, unit, not worth it. The uh, Rotting Promethean here did quite well. The other one uh, tied up some units for a while, so I can't say it did terrible. The rest of my units really just did a middling amount of damage. The problem is that, you know, even though he had 395 units left, some of the units that were left weren't being utilized. I mean, you can look right here. Four Dark Shards with shields with 12 kills. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of points. I think that's 550 each. So that's, what, 2,200 points, I think? I just managed to, with the two uh, running Promethean summons, uh, get a lot of work done. And Malekith basically being dead. And Malekith is, no joke, he is one of the best lords in the game. Um, especially on Seraphon, you know, a devastating combatant. Gaze of Malice is a very powerful... Uh, ability, his, the lore of dark magic is very good. Soul Stealer, Doom Bolt, uh, Blade Wind, uh, what is the other one? Chill Wind. You know, all very good, very good damaging spells, very good just utility spells. Being able to heal yourself, the Soul Stealer. 
you know, and the, the Black Dragon's Breath is quite powerful. But, unfortunately, you know, going for the wrong targets, you know, yeah, you took out my bombers, but I still have an entirely healthy handgun, and I still have the light spots, and I still have an entirely healthy gunnery mob, and, you know, a half healthy siren, and a fully healthy siren. You know, this Reaper Bolt Thrower walking away with 100 kills killed the bomber. And the other two walking away with 40 apiece, you know, these are, these are horde, you know, for this game, these are horde sized units. Uh, these four right here, you know, you could have walked away and killed all of them. And without them, you know, those bombs, you know, the 23 here took out one of the bleak swords or heavily damaged it, I should say. You know, it just could have been, the, the targeting could have been better. And two dark riders walking away, you know, how many of these are walking away with zero kills? One, two, three, four, five, six, six units out of his, what, 17? I don't have any units with zero kills. Maybe not a lot, but at least they got some value for their points. Um, and like I said, the dark starts with shields. We'll take a peek at that real quick. Battles, custom. There's my army. Dark Elves. It's it's alphabetical. It's all it's alphabetical. Uh, dark shards with shields are actually six hundred and fifty, so that's twenty six hundred. So you know, that's twenty six hundred, and then two dark riders. That's an additional what nine hundred, so that's thirty five. And what two dread spears? So that's like it's like 4,400 points for 12 kills. You know, and even though you know the Reaper Bolt Throwers did well, you know if you saw one of my previous battles, the Bloodrack Shrine may have been the better choice. Uh, yeah, the Carinade probably would have shot at it, but again, you shut the Carinade down, and you didn't know what I was going to bring. I mean, if I would have brought. Uh, Necrofex Colossus, maybe the Reaper Bolt Thrower would have been good. You can't always cover all options, but you gotta be... Flexibility is key. Flexibility is the biggest thing in this in this game. If your prediction's great and you counterpick your opponent well, you still have to play well because your opponent may be more flexible than you. And if they are, then you know, that skill level really comes into play. You know, high skill level versus high skill level and you counterpick, counterpicks are gonna walk away 95% of the time with the win. But if you got somebody who perfectly counterpicks, but they're, you know, my skill level, which, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm pretty good analytically. I can look at a battle and see what went wrong, but maybe not play it the best. Um, but in that moment, you know, you need to have that active mind, not the uh, the Monday morning quarterback. But if you've got somebody who's got that great mindset, you know, put me up against Talaxlan, uh, Soothsayer, and I could perfectly counterpick him. And he may wipe the floor with me just because he is uh, a superior player. Even though I counterpicked him, even though I had, you know, the, the deck stacked in my favor that skill level and that flexibility really can help you. Um, and that's really what I'm trying to work on. Uh, and definitely picking things, you know, going through, and not always, but maybe one or two units, you know, the Blood Rack Shrine, I don't ever see that. But if you don't ever see it, people aren't going to be prepared for it either. Now, 1,800 points, crazy high. You know, if you look at the Vampire Coast, what's something you don't normally see? I don't normally see sirens, truthfully. Um, the rotting Prometheans, sometimes, uh, you see them sometimes, but more people go for people like the Morngulls. Um, and, you know, I, I normally see the legendary lords from the Vampire Coast more than I see the generics. But, you know, that's really, that's really 
going to be able to help you in the long run. So learn that flexibility and um, learn to target well with, with your artillery, I guess. Hopefully you all enjoyed that fight. I know I did. I enjoy bringing you guys this content. I enjoy uh, opining on my uh, my knowledge of the game and um, you know just how I how I analytically break things down. Uh, I enjoyed in the beginning of the channel fighting the battles and, and in real time, but I really do like the retrospective look, uh, getting down to uh, the nitty gritty of the battle, sitting here and seeing. Okay, well, what could I have done differently? What could I have done um, better? What could my opponent have done better? Uh, hopefully, if the channel, you know, grows in size, maybe my opponents will eventually see the, the battles and see, um, <laughs> you know, what I thought they could have done better. Uh, another thing, down in the comments below, if uh, you are so inclined, if you'd like to see more battles, perhaps where I... Uh, don't walk away the victor because if you if you notice I typically publish videos where I win I think every video that I've put out that has been a replay has been a win save maybe one but if you'd like to see some of my my losses that I think are good uh, I would publish them uh, otherwise I'll probably just stick to battles that I've won uh, most people like to put out their best face first but if you'd like to see you know even ugly losses, um, you know, that's where the skill level stuff really starts to shine, or, you know, you just miss pick completely, but let me know down in the comments below, uh, and I will respond, and perhaps the next video you see, I may not walk away the victor. Thank you all, and as always, I have been Father of the Everchosen.